Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I found this box in the bottom of my closet, and it appears to have some different old toys and knickknacks and things that I haven't seen in years. So I thought it would be fun to open this with you guys and show you some of the random little toys and things I found in this box here, stored away for I don't even know how long. But anyway, let's just get right into it. As you can see, things are just kind of meshed together with tissue paper. I haven't really looked beyond like this top little bit here. So first off, this looks like a Stegosaurus toy. Look at this guy. He's all nice and colorful. And it looks like he is from 1998. So that is a cool little Stegosaurus dude. I like him a lot. I noticed this guy right away too when I opened this box. Here is a Creature of the Black Lagoon little toy. Oh, he did come from a fast food place. He came from Jack in the Box. So this is so this is like one of those toys you get in fast food places. And the toys they have now are like really bad. But a lot of the older toys that came in fast food places like McDonald's and Jack in the Box and Burger King were actually really cool. So this guy is really cool. I love the creature of the Black Lagoon. He's my favorite classic Hollywood movie monster. And this guy, I believe, like squirts water if you put water in him. I also see some sea creatures in here. I definitely remember this shark. I, for some reason, loved this little shark. I loved playing with him for some reason. I think he's just so cute. And he's like really realistic looking. And he's rubber, so he feels kind of realistic and he's bendy. I just totally remember playing with this guy and I still love him. He's really cute. And he is from 1993. Another one I totally remember is this octopus. I also loved this octopus. I thought he was super cool. And this is by AAA. He is super cool. I love this little guy. And in here is a T-Rex. I definitely remember playing with this T-Rex as well. This is, I believe, a Safari T-Rex. Let's take a look. It is a 1996 Safari T-Rex. And I also had a Spinosaurus from Safari that I would play with this T-Rex with and have them fight like they were in Jurassic Park 3. I don't know if the Spinosaurus is in here. Oh, actually, it looks like he might be. Yes, it is! There is the Spinosaurus! I love this guy! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see him again. I really, really love this guy. He is also a Safari model from 2001, it looks like. He is super cool though, I love the Spinosaurus. He is probably one of my favorite dinosaur toys for some reason. I think he's so cool. And then I also played with the T-Rex with him. I'm just super happy that these guys were in here. I really, really love both of these. Next up in here, it looks like we have a little Godzilla. This is from the, is it 1999, 2000, whatever year it was that that Godzilla movie came out, which I actually really love that movie, but I know it's not exactly liked by many people. But here's a little toy. It looks like it's from Carl's Jr. Yep, it's a little Carl's Jr. from 2000. He's cute. He looks like he's supposed to light up, but his battery has been long dead. Next up in here, it looks like we have maybe another dinosaur. Ah, yes, we do have another dinosaur. Here's a Pachycephalosaurus. And this guy is also by Safari. Don't know how well it's going to focus in on that, but it looks like it's uh, 1996 was when this uh, safari mold was made. But look at that guy. Look how bright and colorful he is. He's super cool. That's something that I think is kind of fun about these older dinosaur toys is that a lot of them are like really bright and colorful. And I know it might not be as realistic looking, but I think they still look super cool. So this little Pachycephalosaurus is really cute to put with my other dinosaur toys. I'll take a look at these guys that have just been kind of resting on the top here. This guy I also remember. I loved him. He's super cool. Little alligator, crocodile. 
And what I love about him is he actually has a really cool little gimmick where you press his back and his mouth opens. And he's just like a really nicely sculpted alligator. Really cool. And he is actually from a Disney thing, apparently. It says copyright Disney, so I wonder what he's actually from. I like his little funny jaw opening action. Deeper into the box here, I remember this as well, although I could have completely forgotten about it. This is just some sort of older rubber toy. It's made in Hong Kong. And it's got a monster with five heads. I vaguely remember having this. It's kind of fun because it's very bendy. You can kind of bend it and stick it on whatever because it's so bendy. It's kind of a kind of just a neat little thing, a neat little monster guy. Here is, I believe, another little safari thing. Maybe it is not marked, but I'm pretty sure it might have come off of a safari like set of some sort. But here's like a little water dragon thing. It's really cool. I do love my little fantasy creatures and dragons. He's got like a shark fin on his back. That's really cool. So that little guy is really cute. And then I have some more fish going on here. Here's just some random toy fish. Here's a little shark topper. Oh my gosh, these I definitely remember growing up and getting some of these sometimes in school and stuff. These are like little pencil toppers. What is this, a zebra shark, I think? This looks like a zebra shark. So cool. I love these little things. They definitely remind me of being a kid. And then here's like a little salmon. And then this guy. I kind of remember him because he's so pretty and colorful. Some kind of fish. I don't know what kind. But another little fun fish toy. And then we have Gil from Finding Nemo. Ooh, some of these are really dusty, by the way, or might be kind of dirty because I'll have to clean them off later, but I'm just showing you them as I go. But here is Gil from Finding Nemo, probably from one of the Finding Nemo play sets I used to have. And Gil was my favorite character in Finding Nemo, so I have quite a few Gil things here and there because I just really loved this character for some reason. And he's a really cute and let's see what these three little guys are. So we have another little shark pencil topper. And this looks like it is a whale shark. Yes, it is a whale shark. It even says so right on the shark there. Whale shark pencil topper. Then I think I got this out of like something at a yard sale or a swap meet or something. It went to like probably a game originally, but I just wanted the little dragon figure here. So it's like a little... Just a little dragon figure. He is very dusty. He needs a bath. And then here's this guy, which has to be a Digimon, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is a Digimon, because I do have quite a few of these little Digimon figures, and I love them. I have a whole bunch of them somewhere. Maybe they're in here, maybe they're in a different box. I have no idea. But I do have a bunch of little, little Digimon figures. I have no idea which one this one is, but he's cool. He's like a lobster crab looking guy. Deeper into the box we go. There's a lot of little stuff in here. Now this, oh my goodness, I totally remember these. So these are cards from a horse game, which I actually might have a copy of it somewhere with all of the complete pieces. But I also just have the cards from it because I loved, love, love, love these cards. Now while these are technically cards for the game, they're just really cool because they have a bunch of gorgeous horse artwork on there. Like, look at that Mustang. That is so, so pretty. Just a bunch of really gorgeous, gorgeous horse artwork on here. So I absolutely love these cards when I was a kid and I would like sort them out and make like little herds out of these different horses because they all have different names too. And then they also have information about them on the back, which is really cool. But while these were technically meant to be for like a board game, if I find it, I'll do a video on it, but I love these cards. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love them. And these ones, oh, I love these ones. I remember these guys. Like, look how beautiful this art is. Look how pretty those Mustangs are. Super, super gorgeous. I just, I absolutely love these. Like, look how great. I'm just in love with the artwork on here. It is so gorgeous. And unfortunately, I don't think it says on any of these cards 
who the artist is or artists. It looks like it might be one artist based on the style, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look these up later and get more information off of them so I can figure out who the artist is. But I just, uh, I love these. And look, there's a little donkey. His name is Bright Eyes. Or I'm sorry, her name is Bright Eyes because she is a mare. So cute. Oh, and there's even a fjord. Look at that beautiful fjord. Oh, and there is a pretty splash. I'm sorry, I'm just like totally enjoying these because they're so cool. Here is a curly horse. Yep, and there it actually says his breed. It's just super cool. I love these. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just rambling on about these because I think they are so, so cool. Deeper into the box we go. It looks like I have some sand dollars. I'm not entirely sure where I got these from. I have a couple of uh, sand dollars here. There is also a shell. Ooh, it's a dirty shell, but it is a little shell. I have no idea where I got some of this stuff, to be honest, but there's that. I also look like I have a dream catcher here. It's got kind of a neat little feather charm. Kind of a pretty little gold feather charm. And then, oh my goodness, I remember this dinosaur. This is like one of my absolute favorites. I was worried I might have lost it or something. I'm super glad to see that it is still here because this is like one of my favorites. It is a parasol olifus and it is a 1996 safari toy. There we go, in focus now. I just love this toy for some reason. It's so pretty. I love the sculpt and I love the beautiful colors on it. And I also just like the parasaurs. Oh, I'm super happy. I love my safari dinosaurs that I had growing up. They're so cool. Oh, and it looks like I got a bunch more dinosaurs in here. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Oh, this one is so cool. I vaguely remember getting this guy in an antique store, I believe. And I just fell in love with him because of his crazy, crazy colors and pattern. And I'm not even sure, sure what he is. He is... It says he's from 1994-1999 Playmates Toys. Uh, looks like from something games. I don't know. I think he's from a game or something. I don't know what it is that he's from. I just knew that I liked him. From like some particular something. I just don't know what. I just liked him because he was a dinosaur and he was crazy cool colored and I think he has some kind of gimmick feature well his tail comes off that's not what I was thinking of I think he does something oh there we go he pushes legs his arms slap down he does like a little little slap he's fun more stuff looks like we have a little lone digimon here oh no he is he has seen better days this poor little guy Maybe we can get him cleaned up, though. He is super cute. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but he is from Generation... Is it like three? Two or three? I don't remember entirely. It's been a long time since I watched Digimon, but he is super cute and super tiny. Looks like we have another dinosaur in here. Oh, more dinosaurs. Lots of dinosaurs. Here is a Jurassic Park 3 dinosaur. Oh, how fun is that? Oh, he's really cool. Nice red and black and reddish brown T-Rex guy. His legs are a little, little warped, but he's super cool and he's got the Jurassic Park 3 logo on him. And then I'm gonna pull this guy out because I believe this is also, yes, this is also Jurassic Park. Oh my goodness. I love this guy. This is the Dilophosaurus also has the little JP logo and he is an older one. He's actually by Dakin from 1992. Super cool. Look at his face. His face is like really well detailed. I love that. He's so cool. And since we're on a Jurassic Park trend, here is another one. Oh, this one I think actually was in with my mom's stuff at one point and I basically got into Jurassic Park and was like, hey, can I have this because he is super cool. And so I have this adorable Jurassic Park T-Rex. Really cool. He is also by Dakin. 92. Just a neat little guy. 
His face is intimidating but adorable at the same time. Really, really cool. Oh my goodness, if you can believe it, there's even more dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, more dinosaurs. Here's, well, here we'll, we'll do this one, which is this a Jurassic Park? Maybe it's not. No, it is not. He's a safari, actually, and he is, ooh, he needs a bath as well. Most of these guys are going to need a bath at some point soon here. But look at this guy. This is a little carnotaur. His horns look a little, um, not very pointy. They might have gotten rubbed off a bit or the, the paint just went off of them. But yeah, he's seen a little bit better days, but he's still pretty cool. Look at him. He's a cool little carnotaur. I do like the carnotaurus a lot. He's fun. Get some of that tissue paper out of the way. Here's a, another safari animal from 1996, and it is a triceratops. Look at this guy. He's pretty cool. A lot of these sculpts are actually really cool, I think, even if they're not totally correct. This guy's coloring is a little, little strange and paint's being rubbed off his tail and, you know, I played with these guys and these guys have been around for a while. They're not in the best, best of shape most times, but that's okay. This guy actually looks like maybe he was painted on at one point. Some of this paint doesn't look like it was supposed to be there, but I'm not sure. We also have a, another Dilophosaurus, and this one is from Safari as well, from 1993. Oh, and I like this guy. Look at him. He's very mean looking. Take a look at that face. He looks so mean and just ready to bite into something. Oh, he's a really cool one. Really neat little guy. And I also realize he has hearts on his, on his side. How funny is that? He's totally got hearts on him. He is a angry little Dilophosaurus, but he still has a little bit of love to give as well. I also found another shell in here, and it also looks like another sand dollar. And here is another fish as well, probably from like a safari thing or something. Just another random fish toy. All right, we're getting down towards the end now. Still have a little bit few more in here to go. Oh, I love this guy. I actually have another one of this one that I think I picked up in a bag of dinosaur toys or something, but I know I have another one of this guy. I really like him too for some reason. It is a iguanodon, and I believe I did play with this guy quite a bit because I remember him pretty clearly. He is by whatever that is. What is that? Uh... L-A-R-A-M-I. Is that, is that it, maybe? Not really sure what that brand is. I haven't really heard of it. But he is an iguanodon. I just like him. <laughs> I think he's fun. And reminds me of childhood. What else is in here? It looks like another dinosaur. Oh my goodness, lots of dinosaurs. This is a Jurassic... Oh no, this is actually not... That this guy, I believe, came out around the same time that the Jurassic Park 3 toys did. But he was from, like, those kind of knockoff sets that Toys R Us sells. I don't remember the brand. Maybe it was, like, Animal Planet or something. But I kind of remember this guy being in, like, a set like that. His leg is, like, really warped. <laughs> we'll have to fix that later. But he's really cool. He's got some crazy cool colors, and he has a little bit of feathering on him. And he's got, like, a neat little growth thing on his nose. Anyway, he's, he's a fun little little dinosaur toy, though. Oh my goodness, this is like one of my favorite ones right here. One of my absolute favorite dinosaur toys ever. Unfortunately, his frill got a little bit bent, but this is a Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And does it say his brand on here? It does not look like it. I'm not seeing any markings. I want to say he, or is he not a, I'm sorry, maybe he's not a Jurassic World one because he does not have any markings whatsoever on him. I could have, oh wait, 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 I see something, I see something. The stamp on him has gotten really worn off. I don't know if I can even read that, honestly. So I'm not sure. This might actually not even be Jurassic Park. It might just be kind of during that same time, but I just know that I love this guy. I really liked him because of the Jurassic Park movies. So, that is him. A really cool and colorful Dilophosaurus with a frill. 
Then what else do we have in here? Looks like another dinosaur. Oh my goodness, so many dinosaurs. I should just call this video the dinosaur box unboxing because this is mostly dinosaurs. All right, so looking at it, I think these these guys, there we go. I think all these ones might have been kind of by the same thing because they got, well, this guy doesn't. Never mind, forget him. These ones look like they might be kind of by the same company. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But here is a sauropod. I forget what these ones are called with the big giant frills going down their necks are. But there's a sauropod. That one looks really cool. I always like this one. I thought the ones with the frills on them are really neat. Or I'm sorry, or the spines, the frills. I don't know, whatever. But these like big spine things on them. This one is really dusty. <laughs> We're almost at the end. Oh my gosh, there's just a couple of tiny more things left in here that you can't quite see, but <laughs> here's another dinosaur. This is, I think, the last dinosaur, though. This is another safari, and this is a 1996 Allosaurus. He is, ooh, he's seen better days. Poor little guy, but he's really cool. This mold is just really awesome. I, I know these aren't, like, super perfect looking for scientific accuracy but they just look cool and they're detailed and I just love these older toys so much maybe just because it's just me and it brings up a lot of nostalgia maybe that's the reason why I love these guys so much all right there's three items left here in the box there is a rock oh this looks like a rock that my mom painted a long time ago I'm not really sure why it's in here but that's a little rock my mom had painted probably when we were on vacation one year and here is another shell, a pretty shell. I don't know why I have so many shells. Actually, all this stuff might have came from a shelf where I had an aquarium in my room. Maybe that's where all these came from because a lot of these shells and stuff would explain why they're in here. I think these came off of that shelf thing that my aquarium was on. Lastly, we have a little Randall, oh my gosh. So for some reason, I love the character Randall from Monsters, Inc. He is one of my absolute favorite, like, Disney characters and has been ever since that movie came out, whenever it came out, however long ago. So here is a little, a little Randall figure. Super cool. I'll have to put him with my other little, little tiny Randall collection I have. So there we go. The box is empty now. There is all the fun dinosaur toys and other little animals and things. That I found in that box. If you would like me to do more of these types of videos where I unbox boxes of like my childhood toys that I find in storage or packed away or where have you, I could definitely do more of these types of videos. I mean this like doesn't even scratch the surface of like the stuff I probably have packed away in storage. So if you'd like to see more of these videos let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a super duper awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!